What is up, my bro varies? Welcome back to Playcrastination Population 189. Today, we are back with some more Pokemon Sun, making our way through the beautiful Alola region. And if you didn't see last time, last time was a big episode. I'm going to take a nap real fast before we finish this episode. Didn't actually mean to do that, but... Is it just Meowth waking us up? This is strange. Please tell me you're going to give me something for free. Or was the... Is this just a cute little thing? Or is... Claw the heck out of my face right now. It looked like something fell from Meowth's hand. A free awakening. Oh, I get it. Because I took a nap. Awesome. Thanks, Meowth. See you later, buddy. Uh, anyway, last time we actually beat the champion, or the stand-in champion, I'll say. Kukui, Professor Kukui, who's been with us since the very beginning of the game. We beat him, and we are now the champion of the Alola region. You also saw me beat the entire game, uh, catch Tapu Koko, and then try to skip, and I accidentally pressed reset on my DS and had to do the whole thing over again. I did it a second time, and you won't believe it, but stupid me, trying to skip the credits once again, skipped and reset the entire thing. So we did it a third time and we're finally done. Credits are over. Uh, and I actually did something smart this time. You remember I was complaining about how Tapu Koko was really hard to get a perfect nature on? Well, apparently if you just kill Tapu Koko in that instance, you can come back later and come catch him, which is what we're going to do at the end of this episode. Um, but first we're going to see what's going on here. Uh, so Lily left. She's in the Kanto region. Now she's gone. It's kind of sad. My mom, we're back at our mom's house. She made us breakfast. Maybe looks like you slept well, Gilmore. The ding at the doorbell. Why'd you even ring the doorbell if you're just going to come in anyway? Alola, the salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Okay, how, where are we going today? What's our adventure going to be today with our shiny Meowth here? Ooh, and there's that Cantonian Meowth. Look at that shiny coin on your head, kitty kitty. All right, don't start being, don't be weird about it. It is quite shiny though. What's going on? I finally got my gramps to go all out of me and get serious and be serious in a battle against me. I got some sweet rewards, so take this one, Gilmore. Good luck is best shared. Thanks. Incinium Z, is that for... And Primar Primarium Z. Okay, so that must be for Incineroar and for Primarina, the other starters which we don't have with us. Uh, now you can power up too, Gilmore. That's so nice of you, How? Thank you. <laughs> what, are, what, what are friends for? Nah, no problem, Auntie. You're still not my... You're not my cousin, man. Say, is Kanto, like, really far away? It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know geographically where they are. We're going to say it's close. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty close. Close enough to visit whenever you want to. That's pretty cool. All right, then it's decided. I'm going to get stronger and stronger. Then I'm going to travel the world with my Pokemon. I'm going to find Lily and my dad, too. Oh, it's about to be a sad story. Your father. Yeah. Oh, yeah, him. <laughs> he left when I was three. <laughs> He's a strong trainer, real strong, I think, but I guess he really hated being the son of a kahuna and everything, yeah? So he works far away from Alola these days. Well, that's not good at all. I think I'm gonna go train myself up the battle tree, then beat you, Gilmore, and I'll be champion next time I see him. Seems like a nice little present. <laughs> what is the battle tree, How? No, oh, it's this thing way deep on Pony Island. It must be in that area we couldn't go to before. Anybody who's passed the island challenge who is strong enough to do to or is strong enough to anyway can battle it out with their Pokemon or so they say. Kilmore, let's have the best battle ever at the Pokemon League sometime. No backing out. Sounds good to me, how? Hello. Hi. How are you today? That's right. Now you're the current champion. Everyone's going to want to challenge you and Meowth. Stop shining. Is that supposed to mean something? Is there a Zygarde cube on your head? I will take it right now. Um, so what we're going to do today, so originally I was like, where's the freaking Ultra Beast, by the way? Um, originally what I thought we were going to do, we're just going to explore a little bit. Originally what I thought was going to be like, after we beat the game, we were going to do like Ultra Beast slash Tapus, one per episode, which we're still kind of try to do. And then afterwards I was going to do random stuff, but I think I'm just going to, I think I've decided I'm just going to re-go through the entire game, explore everything. There's going to be new stuff open now that it's post-game. There's going to be items that I missed the first time. For example, like we didn't have a uh, freaking Ride Machamp before. So there were a lot of places we couldn't access via strength. So I'm going to be looking for like Zygarde cores and cells, uh, different items, different places to surf, different all sorts of things. And here's Old Man. Hey, you. You're the one they call Gilmore. I am. I am. Hmm. A certain interested party sent me here to, uh, to give this to you. The Enigmatic Card. 
What does that mean even? It's a, it, oh, it's like in, filled with enigma. You should take a look at what it says, but take care while you read it. No one else may know of my visit or of this card. Look at that derpy run. Look at that derpy run. Derpy run would be a great game, much better than uh, freaking Mario run or whatever that new game is. Uh, let's read the enigmatic card. Did it say put in the key item slot? Key items, key items, key items. Enigmatic card, a mysterious card written on it as a request for you to go to the guest room in the Akala Motel on Route 8. Well, we're going one island at a time, so we'll get there when we get there, my friend. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably going to forget when we're supposed to get there. So hopefully someone in the comments can remind me a couple episodes down the road, though I will have recorded these way before that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna start down here. And like I said, we're basically just going to explore. We're going to do nice, long sweeps. There's no way they're going to make you refight the trainers, right? And, you know, if we're going through and we get in some battles, that's fine. You never know. We might find the random shiny. So, uh, if the battles start getting ridiculously obnoxious, I will probably turn off the, um... I'll probably, like, put on a repel or something. Uh, but for now, Sterling is reassured by my familiar scent. But for now, I think I just want to explore. Mostly because Tapu Koko is really close, and I need to kill some time before we go visit Tapu Koko, because we're going to... I'm going to do the thing, like I said, you only get one You only get one chance to catch them, you can't breed them. So you need to make sure you get the perfect nature every time. Or not every time, but the time that you catch it, uh, which is what I'm going to do. Let's visit... Oh, <gasps> look at that! Alrighty, a strange creature. With, I swear these weren't here when we came through the first time. Maybe you don't get them until you get that Zygarde core on the second island. Completely possible. Uh, but we're gonna, like, look through his lab. He's no longer here because we whooped his tail as champion. Or he's no longer there. Lily's Loft? Maybe in Lily's Loft you have a Zygarde cell. Can we open the book now that she's, uh, gone? Murkrow seems to have packed apart the glittering lock on the front. We can finally read it. Will you open the diary? It's an invasion of privacy. I get it, but I think we have to. I finally decided I have to leave Paradise so that I can protect Nebby. I told Wiki about my plans in secret, but and she told me I should find someone named Professor Burnett and speak to her. So Wiki is a good person, okay. That she might be able to help. Wiki thinks that this Professor Burnett woman is researching the Ultra Wormholes. I wonder what kind of person she might be, and how will I ever find her? I don't know where in the Alola she might be right now. Yes, I'm going to continue. I want to know everything. Nebby shone brighter than anything, but before I knew what happened, we had found our way to meet Professor Burnett. But how did we get there? Is it some strange power that Nebby has? Did it do this? Professor Burnett called her husband at once, the man named Professor Kukui. He came to meet me, uh, to meet us, and he walks around half naked all the time. <laughs> I don't know about that. Is it some kind of a lowland fashion or something? That's so funny. In the end, it was decided that Professor Kuki would let me stay in his research lab with him. He took me there on his boat. It didn't look like it could even survive the voyage, but we arrived in one piece, and the sea breeze was delightful. When we arrived at the marina, the Kahuna of the island was there with his grandson. That is how I came to meet Kahuna Hala and how. I've since come to learn the Lola, Lola region has no gym leaders or champions or any of that. I'm going to read this entire thing. Today was certainly an eventful day. Nebby kept acting like it wanted to go see the ruins of conflict, but when we did try to visit it, it was attacked by Spiro. It was just terrible. All I could do was stand by and watch, but then a stranger appeared and helped us. Enter Gilmore! At first, I thought it had to be someone from Aether that they tracked us down at last, but it was actually a, a boy that the professor knows. Gilmore. I won't forget him. Oh, is that the end? Okay, that was the end. Okay, oh, I guess that's when she joined us on our journey, so that's when she left. Several of Lily books, they look pretty advanced. Well, she's a genius, that's why. Okay, well, there's a little backstory about Lily, good to know. That's what, I just talked to somebody in the comments today. They left a comment, um, kind of talking about the lore of Solgaleo and, uh, and Lunal, I guess. And I was like, hold on, let me talk to Kubi real quickly. I'm sure we have some sort of interesting interaction. Hey there, Gilmore, looks like you're really giving it your all, yeah? You've got your Pokemon registered in your Pokedex now. I have a lot in Rotom. Huh? Of course he has. Gilmore is my big boy. No. Not, not, okay, no. I wouldn't bother hanging out with some lug of a trainer who couldn't fill a Pokedex. Yeah, I can fill that Pokedex. Oh, God. Haha, <laughs> Rotom's pretty fired up about it, too. Of course I am, too. So I've got a little something for you. A lucky egg. I'll take it. That's gonna help make training a lot easier. When you have a Pokemon hold a lucky egg, it goes grows up faster. Some evolved Pokemon don't appear in the wild, so it's useful to have one of these if you're trying to fill a Pokedex. Well, thanks. I mean, let's go check the basement where you got the weird stuff. Please, just over the rail and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go. Polyrath is still here, just chilling. We got nothing new, it looks like. Everything looks like it's the exact same. Okay, so that's all we got for Kukui's house. 
And by house, I mean shed in the middle of nowhere. But yeah, I was talking to somebody about uh, Pokemon lore, basically. And I was like, it's cool that they like, they don't explicitly tell, they tell you some things, obviously. But the deeper stuff, the deeper lore, they make you find out for your own by reading Lily's journal like that. Although we kind of had already known all of that stuff. It just kind of confirmed it. But uh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go to 10 Carat Hill because I know for a fact Mundo. I know for a fact Mundo, maybe I will throw up a repel. I do really want the chance of a shiny popping up. Maybe I should also lower my webcam. Do you want to see more of my body? You want to see more of my body? That's better. You don't need to see the top of my head anyway. The top of my head's not that ridiculous, you know? Oh, uh, we're going to need Tauros. I haven't ridden on Ride Tauros, I feel like, in a hundred years. Ride Tauros. Okay, we're going to 10 Carat Hill. We're going to go through this cave because I believe, if my memory serves me, and honestly, I should be Stoutland searching everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Stoutland search finds items. That's not a great parody. Remember those old Tony the Tiger commercials? Good stuff. Wild Rog and Roll. If we could find a shiny Rog and Rolla, I may chain for one of them just because shiny Gigalith is... Have you ever seen a shiny Gigalith? It's beautiful. The, uh, the red stones on it turn to like this like... It's almost like an aquamarine kind of blue. It's more, I guess it's like a sky blue kind of thing. And it just looks it looks like the meth from uh, from uh, Breaking Bad. Just don't do that. But uh, it looks beautiful. And so if like that popped up and it was shiny, probably you would have seen me throwing my headset across the thing. Which is not good because I just got it and I'm really enjoying it. It's really making me appreciate the music in the Alola region even more than I already was. Because it's good. Also, with this, I guess I should start playing horror games because uh, horror games are... Yes, there is a rock. Okay, so we can explore more of this place with pushing this rock over. I guess I should play horror games because I get the surround sound experience, right? Just kidding. Probably not going to play ho any horror games. Although I will ask you guys, like, I guess it's not my decision, it's yours. I mean, it, ultimately it is my de Ultimately it is my decision, I guess. But uh, my question for you guys is, last time I asked a little bit about New Year's resolutions, I think, maybe, I don't remember, New Year's and stuff like that. So my question for you guys today is, um, what do you guys want to see on the channel in 2017? I already have several games that I'm hoping to play over the course of 2017. Of course, we're going to get new games that come out all the time that I'm going to add to the list of things that I want to play. Find an ether here. Um including, well, obviously, Pokemon, uh, we're gonna do a Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke, as I said, there's gonna be, uh, we're gonna play Pokemon Afterbirth, or no, Pokemon Afterbirth, now, that would be an interesting concept for a game, all right, apparently, Stalin, you're a little too chunky, I'm sorry, we're gonna play Afterbirth, of course, because why would we not, we're going to, uh, I hope, I'm not even gonna say I hope, I can promise you at some point this year, 2017, if this video comes out in 2017, it's probably gonna come out, like, really close, um, at some point in 2017, and probably sooner rather than later, we're gonna be playing through Banjo-Tooie. We played ban through Banjo-Kazooie, like, at the very beginning of the channel, one of the first games I played on the channel, and one of my favorite games of all time. And so you can bet your bottom dollar we're gonna be playing through Banjo-Tooie pretty soon. This leads to a new area. I mean, it's still 10 Carat Hill. Oh, <gasps> is it freaking finally f Flying Z? Flying Z. Flying MZ! Oh my god, I think that was the last Z crystal we needed. I mean, there's still different Z crystals for specifics, but that is the last type f Z crystal we need, I think. Let's look real fast. Let's take a peek. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you guys want to see. Do you want to see more? Pokemon content is definitely not going anywhere. Don't worry about that. Uh, do you want to see more competitive battling? Do you want to see more breeding type stuff? Shiny hunting? Do you want to see? Tell me what you want to see. Other games you want to see. Do you want to see me play horror games? Probably not going to happen, but maybe it will. Um, Normalium Z, Fighting Z, Water, Fire, Grass, Rock. Do we have Groundium Z? We have Groundinium Z. Or Groundium Z. I'm trying to get, we have Steelium Z. We have Flyanium Z, Dragonium Z, Iceum, we have Fairy, we have Ghost, we have Ghost, we have Psychic, yes, we have Dark, we have Bug, yes, we have, what are the types there, boys, what are the types, Fire and Poison, Poison, ooh, we don't have Poison, no, we have Poison, I think we have everything, I think that might be all of the types. Which is cool, because it doesn't mean that we're done with the game, but it means we're done with Z-Crystals in the game, which is pretty awesome. Oh, don't fall off the cliff, please. 
But I think that's the end of 10 Carat Hill. That's the that's the pushing rock we needed to do. I'll have to freaking, yeah. But yeah, leave me some comments down below. I really want to know what you guys want to see on the channel in 2017. Do you want to see something completely different? Something like a game I would never play before. Uh, what I can tell you, and I, like I said, I'll have an update video coming out soon. Probably right around the new year. Hopefully, if I can figure out what the heck I want to say because I have a lot to say and a lot to reveal a lot of cool stuff uh, but basically there's gonna be a new uploading schedule coming I'm, my upload schedule basically in the past like since this game came out has just been like upload this <laughs> if that makes sense just like upload um, uh, Pokemon Sun like that's a little bit all that I've uploaded so I'm hoping to get back to an actual diversified uploading portfolio if that makes sense Ooh, what do we got over here what do we got over here? Any Z crystals? Nope, nuts. And by Z crystals, I mean Zygarde cells. Um, I'm hoping to get a little bit more diversified uh, games back on the channel. That would be really cool, I think, to instill a little bit more variety. Not that I don't love Pokemon Sun, but we've been playing it for like a month and a half now, so why did I do that? So we need a little bit, uh, we need some different games, I think. Don't call for help, thank you. Um, so yeah, let me know what kind of things you want to see on the channel. But anyway, this new schedule that I was talking about before I get too off track, off brained, um, it's going to include, mm, it's still like a rough approximation, rough, get it, I'm on a Stoutland, <laughs> uh, but I'm hoping for like, I don't want to oversell myself and then not be able to produce for you guys, but, uh, I'm looking at doing like 10-ish videos a week, which is going to be hard once I get back to school, I know, but I'm going to try my best. And I think we're going to be playing through uh, a lot more RPGs, maybe some classics. Uh, I'm just going to like, these aren't games I'm going to guarantee that we're going to play in 2017. But some of my favorites, uh, some of my favorite RPGs to choose from would include things like any of the old Fallout games. Basically anything Bethesda. Fallouts, Skyrims, Dishonored I've been wanting to play for a very long time. Uh, I don't know if you really count this as an RPG, but I've been wanting to play the Bioshock games for a very long time. Uh, Mass Effect, absolutely, in anticipation for freaking Andromeda. Uh, probably gonna want to play through those old games as well, although I'm... I don't know if I'm gonna skip through Mass Effect 1. It's... <sighs> it's a very close tie between Mass Effect and... What was the other game? Oh no, I just said this to my friend the other day. I can't think of the other game, but between Mass Effect and, oh god, what is it? I'm gonna have to ask him, uh, but Mass Effect is definitely my top two of favorite storylines, like favorite plot lines, plot twists, plot whatever you want to call it, oh, KOTOR, Star Wars, uh, Knights of the Old Republic, those are my two um, favorite storylines of any game I've ever played, um, and Mass Effect is up there too, so I, Mass Effect 1, I should say, it kind of sets up the entire story, I love it, however, it's... Uh, what do you want to call it? Mm, how do I say it nicely? It's not, um... The mechanics in the game are not... Mechanics in games have changed a lot since like 2000 and freaking... When did that game come out? 8 or something? Maybe 2010, 2011? I don't know if it's... It's probably 2010-ish. Um, mechanics in games have changed quite a bit. I forgot we don't use this to fly. Uh, I'm just going to fly back to our house because there's no real reason to retrace our steps. Um, mechanics have changed a lot, and they... Mass Effect 1s really did not hold up very well over time. I hate to say one of my favorite games, like I said, don't get me wrong. I just didn't hold up over time. So, uh, I'd probably want to... Maybe I'll do Mass Effect 1, I don't know. Uh, definitely want to play 2 and 3 though, some of my favorite games. And we would carry the save file over them so they'd all be connected, uh, which I think would be a lot of fun. Those games actually probably um, exist better as Twitch streaming games, which if I want to get into Twitch, those would be decent games to to do. So I don't know how we're going to do this, guys. We'll, we'll figure it out. 2017 is going to be a big year, that's all I know. I just checked today, you heard me say at the beginning, population 189, uh, which is nuts. The, as I'm recording this right now, it is uh, December 22nd. Uh, so... Um, my goal, I didn't think it was going to be possible, but we've gained 12 subscribers in like the past, or like 10 subscribers in the past, no 12, it's 12, in the past 48 hours, which is absolutely insane, and so I'm gonna, I think we might reach 200 by the new year, which would be epic, I'll, I, won't be, I won't lie, it'd be pretty darn epic, we got uh, like what, nine, yeah, nine days or 31 days in December uh, to do that, and I think that would be absolutely insane, let's go ahead and get off our Stoutland, so let's like, 
talk to everybody because you'd never know. Like, I'm not going to read everything they say. I mean, I'll be reading it myself, but I'm not going to read it aloud. Uh, you never know post game which of these guys might have some sort of random quest for us or random thing they want us to do. So I feel like it's in our best interest to go through every town and talk to everybody once more, uh, which probably means there's going to be like a jillion more episodes of this. And I apologize for that. I know you'd probably like it's probably better for me to just like look up what the heck I need to do and uh, look up what I need to do, do it really quickly and then end each episode with either catching an ultra beast or a tapu or something like that uh but we have a lot of game to explore left i'm excited to see what hala has to say to us now that we've beaten the game and i'm sure there's got to be something there's got to be something i feel like this town wasn't really used for much i mean it was like very symbolic in the terms of it's the uh the center of where we begin is my my candle's not even activated. Activated? Why would you even say it like that? I don't know. Uh, my candle's not on right now, and I'm, I'm sad because it smells like frosted berries or something like that, which just reminds me of a cereal name. And uh, I like frosted berries. Okay. Keep your eyes out for any uh, Z. <gasps> What's happening here? What the heck is this? Are they fighting? Gilmore! Hey, no one told you guys to stop. Are you making them, like, fight? Like yell at each other <laughs> what is happening here see gilmore helping people like this is just another way i could train myself to get how are you helping them are you like teaching them how to battle the kahuna grabbed us by our scruff and got of our necks and dragged us here saying we got nothing better to do anyway right like okay pokemon battles are one thing but alola sumo lola style sumo what, you ain't heard, yo? Our old team's skull is done, so We got nothing to do now. Nope, nothing, no. So we're training up so that we'll be tough enough to help anyone out and need a rescue. Then you can cause Team Reskull. Well, that's pretty cool. Team Skull has become a decent human being organization. That's awesome. Um, they're reforming themselves. That's, that's awesome. I wonder if we go to Ponytown, or not Ponytown, um, if we go to... Um, po Town. If we go to Po Town, I wonder what kind of stuff we're going to. Um, what? What? I don't know what happened there. Um, I wonder what Po Town's going to be like now that Skull is uh, Team Skull's doing nice again. I wonder if it's going to be like not as dirty and awful. And I wonder if Guzma's going to be there. I wonder where Guzma is. We need to. That reminds me. We need to freaking revisit um, the Aether Foundation too, because now that Lucy means, I assume she's healing, so she'd be better. So we need to go visit her. I'm sorry if my shirt is doing some weird, like, things on my webcam. Freaking pinstripe shirts. Not pinstripe, but, like, plaid shirts always do this. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is the Pukumuku bathroom. There's nothing in here. I did go through at some points in the game and come back and collect some stuff. So, like, there was a, a pink Z crystal or whatever you want to call it. A pink uh, thing back here that I ended up finding. And I didn't do that on camera, so I apologize for that. Oh, this lady just heals us. So there is a Pokemon Center in this town, in a way. We're pretty much ready, I guess, to to talk to Hala. And then I guess we're ready to go save before we catch uh, Tapu Koko and then do the exact same battle that we already did one time. Oh, Gilmore, how's Alola treating you? The sun shines all on its own and the moon shines down reflected light. Each of them lights our world. One in the daytime, the other at night. If you prefer brightness, then live in the light. If you prefer darkness, you can find people in Pokemon that suit that taste too. I agree. I'm definitely more of a night person than a day person. I'm a day, I'm a night man. Oh, could never be a day man. My DS is dying again. Are you flipping kidding me, man? Ow, I hit my own head. What a joke. What a joke, the battery life of this thing. Scoot forward. This chair is impossible to scoot. You ever scooted and not been able to? Also, there was a, a Zygarde core right here, but I picked that one up as well. <sighs> Anything else in this town? It looks like we've cleaned this town up pretty well. Unless there's hidden items of some sort, which Stalin doesn't seem to be picking up anything. Stalin, you got anything? No. Anybody drop anything on the stage? Up on the stage! No, nobody has dropped anything on the stage. Check the next route, which is the 10 carats. No, it's the Mahalo Trail. There's probably hidden items on this thing, but uh, the odds of me actually... Do you hear that sound? I heard a wild Pokemon. I heard a wild Pokemon. It sounded like an Oracorio almost, but I don't think wild Pokemon can spawn on this route unless there's like... Yeah, you hear that? Maybe it's a picky peck. I don't know. Sound like a bird Pokemon at the very least. Anything? Anything? Literally, there's nothing. Did I already grab everything there was to grab here? I suppose I did. And now we've got the Mahalo Trail Plank Bridge, which we can use to access a new area. Nothing there. 
Anything doing over here? This music here sounds just like one of the first levels in Kirby 64. You ever play Kirby 64? Maybe I was Dream, I can't remember if it was, I don't remember the exact name of the game. Star Kirby 64 or something like that. Great game. Might bring that to the channel. That's one thing I can promise you guys. Ooh, we found an electric seed, whatever the heck that does. What does that do? I don't know, I'll look at some other point. Um, one thing I can promise you in 2017, which is crazy to think that we're getting to that year. I'm so old. Uh, I'm turning 22 in 2017, and I'm not feeling 22. I'll tell you that. Wasn't there a Z? There we go. It's not kind of hard to see, but we found it. It's hiding in the grass, and we are going to have to fight this Tapu Koko once again. So let's do so. Um, but yeah, like, in 2017, I would say probably expect a lot of N64 games. I just am feeling really nostalgic lately, like probably because, like I said, I'm very old. So there's going to be a lot of N64 games. So when you're making suggestions about what games I should play, take into consideration uh, what kind of N64 games you'd like to see me play, because those especially are going to be games that I'm going to play. Um, so, so let's go up here and activate the statue. Hello. Hello, that. You reached out and touched the statue. Tapu Koko, you're going to reattack me. He does, he does, okay. So you murder him the first time, which is kind of brutal, but then you get a second chance to come back and fight him again. I love this music so much. And I get to refight Tapu Koko. This time we're gonna catch him, of course. You can set up that electric search all you want. We're gonna catch him this time. Oh god, we got some weird stuff. I know you've already seen me catch him one time, so you really need to see me catch him a second time. Electro Ball is your strongest attack, and it's just donks on me. Luckily, we're a little bit faster. It does more damage on slower targets, so thankfully... Okay, we can do a stronger attack than that. We can do a much stronger attack than that. And you'll still live, barring a crit. Barring a crit, I'll just do a hard reset right here, and you'll get to see me do the whole thing again. I mean, I'll edit it, of course. It doesn't look like a crit to me which means one leaf blade and you should be in relatively good catching distance and hopefully we can catch this thing pretty fast. Of course, uh, I'm probably not going to nickname it initially. I'm just gonna add to the squad and see what its level is or see what it's like ability. Oh, it's gonna have the same ability. It's gonna electric surge, but uh, we're gonna look at, um, what are we talking about? We're gonna be looking at one. Can we get you on the first ball? That'd be insane. Uh, okay, it's not quite gonna happen. But uh, we're going to look at its uh, stats and its nature, and we're going to see if we can find uh, the best one we possibly can. If its IVs aren't perfect, that's fine. We can get it to level 100, and apparently in post-game, you can affect IVs in some way. You can increase them artificially. One, two. That's a skip my shoe. Um, so apparently you can do that, which is pretty dope. Uh, we'll, I'll do some more research into that after we catch it. But basically, I'm looking for... I'm not going to be super picky. I would really like a timid Tapu Koko. I think timid would probably be the best nature for us. Um, but if I can find a modest one as well, those are, the, those are the two that I would be content taking. Even though Tapu Koko does have a higher physical attack uh, stat than a special attack stat, its, uh, it's move set is just... It, it lends itself much more well to... Uh, to special attacking. I think it's only physical thunder move that it has is um, wild charge and it doesn't have a single <gasps> oh, so close. It doesn't have a single um, physically attacking fairy move so you're losing out on a lot of stab there and wild, char ha wild charge has a ton of recoil and so it's honestly better to just not let Sterling die. It's honestly better this music is so loud by the way. It's honestly better uh, to just um to just uh, use a special attacking set because the moves are just, are, just, are just better. I guess it also learns Spark as a physically attacking uh, move, but it's only base 65. Meanwhile, Discharge and Thunderbolt just makes more sense, honestly. Okay, let's catch this thing. Hopefully 12 Ultra Balls is enough. If, we, if it's not enough to even catch it on this thing, like, either way, we're gonna catch it or we're gonna try to catch it with these balls. If it's not enough, which it's putting up a fight, if we have an issue, of course, I'll just turn off the save and, uh, like, basically when you when you get here next episode, when you're watching the next episode, hey, you up there, you're looking good, by the way. You look great today. 
uh, when you're in the next episode, you're gonna see, thank goodness I click false swipe, you're going to see that we have a Tapu Koko and it's going to be either modest or timid. Then it's gonna go in the PC, uh, probably, honestly. Maybe I'll add him to the squad, but I kinda like Shiny Vikavolt. This thing is just, I'm glad, at first I was like, wow, I'm giving myself four minutes to to finish this battle? That's, that's, a, that's a lot of time, I'm gonna have a lot of time left. Oh yeah, I forgot, it's the hardest Pokemon to catch in the entire game. I think it has a capture rate of like three which is insane. If we could impart some sort of status on this thing, that may be something I have to remember in the future, is to bring someone to use hypnosis or something just to just to do a little bit of extra, lower that catch rate just a tiny bit or increase the catch percentage chance. I don't know which way that number works. We're gonna try to catch this thing. Let's talk about more things in 2017 or maybe it won't make me. Oh, it's gonna make me talk more. Okay, 2017 guys. Other things you can expect on the channel. Um, like I said, Pokemon content is going to stay. You know what? Maybe it's just Sterling's bad luck, so we're just going to let Sterling die. Um, you can expect more Pokemon content on the channel. I would say you should probably expect there to be more competitive battling. I am looking into getting into competitive battling, but before I do that, I'm going to have to do breeding and stuff, and it's just going to take quite a while to finally get to a place where I belong, West Virginia. Um, to get to a place where I can actually competitively battle without getting destroyed because my Pokemon aren't properly EV'd and IV'd. So first I need to learn how to do that and do it, which is going to take a long time. Um, which in that break we'll be playing other games and things, and things, and things! <sighs> Sterling didn't even have to die. Okay, Tapu Koko was caught. I don't know why I'm excited. There's no guarantee this one is even going to be the one that we need it to be. But if it was timid or modest right off the bat, I would feel pretty excited because that could mean I could record my next episode right after. We're actually having family come over tonight for uh, an early Thanksgiving type of thing. Not Thanksgiving, what the heck holiday is it? We're having Christmas kind of early. Like I said, it's only the 22nd, but this weekend, because Christmas on a weekend, it's kind of iffy. People got to go out of town. So we're doing my dad's side of the family today. And uh, so we'll see how that works. Yes, I would like to... No, I almost pressed the wrong button. We're going to add him to the party. We're going to get rid of Vikavolt. Did I never nickname Vikavolt? I didn't nickname my shiny Vikavolt. Wow. I'm embarrassed. Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Timid or modest right off the bat. Timid or modest right off the bat. Could we get so lucky? Could we get so lucky? Could we get so lucky? Oh, it's timid! Yes! <laughs> Woo! And look at those ivies. <sighs> Not perfect Ivies, but like I said, we can get it to level 100 and do some stuff with it. But we get a timid uh, Tapu Koko right off the bat, which means I don't have to restart, which means I can record another one right now. That's a great way to end this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. Join the flock of bro -Varies, and if you know anybody that you think would be a good Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them on by, because we'd love to have them. But anyway, with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Pokemon Sun post-game shenanigans.